Now, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations has been granted only four days to continue detaining four police officers and two civilians and wrap up the investigation into a case where six allegedly stole over two million shillings from a parked motor vehicle at Kasarani Station here in Nairobi. Trial Magistrate Godfrey Onsarigo declined to grant the 14 days sought by the prosecution, noting that four days will be sufficient. After spending the weekend in custody, trial magistrate Godfrey Onsarigo on Monday ruled that the four police officers and two civilians will remain in police custody for a period of four days. Defense counsels led by David Riungu on Monday told the magistrate that the accused were facing challenges in the cells. One officer reportedly had an asthma attack and needed urgent medical attention. We print with this court to issue an order for them to attend the screen at Kenyatta National Hospital for chest review to assess to what extent that is suffered. However, the application to have their mobile phones and a motor vehicle release was declined by the court. The suspects will be produced in court on Friday to confirm the progress of the investigation. Anton Manda is courted to Kenya National Hospital for medical attention. And since the motor vehicles and the mobile phones are part of the investigations, the application is, is rejected at this point. And a convict, Anthony Kariuki, has been sentenced to two years in prison or a fine of 50,000 shillings for each of the four counts he was found guilty of. Kariuki, who will serve the sentences concurrently, was found guilty of illegal refilling of liquefied gas cylinders, trading and dealing with gas cylinders belonging to another licensee, supplying the cylinders to the market without a seal, and transporting the cylinders without a valid license. The court has considered the duration that the matter has been in court since its commencement and equally the pre-sentencing report. You have a right of appeal 14 days from today. Trial Magistrate Dolphina Lego further issued a warrant of arrest for Green Energy Limited, which is implicated in the crime committed in Embakasi, Nairobi. Else, over 200 traders from Gikomba Market in Nairobi have filed a fresh application seeking an injunction against Nairobi County Government. Tunaenda asubuhi ya kuna mahali ya kutandika manguo zetu. Zingine ziliaribika, vibanda walibomoa, atukua na notice. Kwa za mimi nilikuwa nimetoka kwa maomborezi ya dada yangu. The land that you remain bare, wanaipangia kazi gani? Na diyo sababu tunasema hatu pingi project yao, lakini shamba yetu hiko bari sana na project yao. In the petition, the traders cite the demolition have caused them big losses in their businesses and their children have been chased away from school due to lack of school fees. Ruth Huamboy for Prime Edition.